Okay, very spiritual. I'm getting a very, very spiritual feeling around this whole reading. Um, it feels like there's a lot of spirituality in you and it feels like there's a lot of uh, spiritual strength building up in you. Uh, it, it's building. So it's already started and I think it's getting stronger. Um, I think people are going to start to notice that in you. Um, and if you're feeling that already, you'll know that. Um, and yeah, with this Four of Swords, very peaceful card, restful, meditating. I don't know if that's something you're doing at the moment. Um, yeah, this feels really good, actually, because, um, you know, with this and the sun together, um, you're building that up for yourself. You're building yourself up spiritually. And because you're doing that, I'm getting this feeling of pushing. It's like you're pushing away uh, things you don't need anymore. It's like this force field, that spiritual force inside you that's getting stronger and stronger. And you're pushing away any, uh, you know, low vibration people, rubbish, negativity, all that kind of thing. It's almost like clearing rubbish, putting the rubbish out. <laughs> but it's it's a very much deeper than that. It's, it's inside you. It's You're doing that internally or it's, it's happening to you internally. And I think you do have something to do with this because I think partly... Um, you know, you're partly determined to do that, uh, to take a stand against someone. I can see that very strongly. Um, yeah, there's a there's a problem person around you. I think they're still there. Uh, lots and lots of drama, uh, lots of stress. They like to try and bring people stress because um, you can see right next to this, um, you've got the Seven of Wands. So someone who's bringing you this kind of stress. But, you know, you you're against this, you're taking a stand against this, and you're doing that from a, from a, um, you know, from a place of strength, inner strength, that's what I'm getting, that inner power, um, that beautiful spiritual inner strength. Um, so you're combating this, you're combating this, but in a peaceful way, a very peaceful way, like this man, you're doing it from the inside. It's like, no, from now on, no negativity is coming in, no gossip, no rubbish. It's staying out. It's staying outside of me. It's not coming anywhere near me. Um, you know, you're not letting this... Yeah, someone's still trying. They're still trying. I can see that really clearly, but you're not letting it in. Um, yeah, look at this man. Look at this man in this card. You know, he's got these swords hanging over him. So that's the stress of this person that's kind of hanging over you. But the swords aren't coming down. They're not actually touching him. They can't get near him because look at his hands. He's praying. So you're using that spirituality, that emotional power, inner power, spirit, whatever that is that you'd like to call that. You've got that inside you and you're using that for yourself now. You're using that. It's always been there, but now you're really starting to use that. Um, there's so much power inside you. And uh, you know, now that you've got that force field around you, that you're not letting that negativity anywhere near you anymore, um, you're, you're a lot happier. You've got the sun right here. So just knowing that that's in you, um, it, it's making you feel a lot happier. Because, you know, it's one thing to, to, to remove someone from your life physically. But if you've got that spiritual force field inside you, that strength, um, anyone that comes along in the future, your strength, you've got that power against them. It doesn't matter who comes along or who doesn't come along. You could have the worst person in the world come in front of you. And if you've got that inner strength, that inner power, that spirituality, it wards any of that away. So I think that's what you're building up. It doesn't feel like it's totally in full force yet, but it feels as if you're building that. And it's enough to get rid of this other person or to kind of stop them from coming near you. Um, so... Yeah, that they're feeling this. That <laughs> this person who's trying to bother you, they're feeling that force, and they don't like it. They don't like it at all. <laughs> so they, they don't. Yeah, you're not playing. It's like, oh, okay, they're not playing. Oh, they're not playing. I'm trying to do all these things to them, and they're not playing. They're not. They're not biting. And yeah, it's strange with these kinds of people because you did everything to repel this person. Everything. Or oh, sorry, they did everything to repel you. I should say, and. Uh, yeah, they did all these horrible things to you and that repelled you, wanted you to kind of go the other way or run the other way. And um, when you're not giving that, giving them any attention, suddenly they're not happy. They want you back again. <laughs> so, very strange mentality of some of these people. So, um, but you're not going back again. You're not going back to that ever again. Um, I think with the 
this person, you, you might have gone back a few times and they're expecting you to do that again, but uh, you're so much stronger internally, or so much more stronger, I should say. Uh, my words are going funny for me today, but you're a lot stronger internally, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, you're not letting that happen ever again, you're not going back ever again. And uh, yeah, beautiful strength, and it's growing. I keep on seeing this strength, and I keep on seeing growth, and I keep on seeing spirituality. Um, I'm surprised the strengths card's not here actually, but it's not. But you're growing in that strength. Yeah, very, very beautiful. And it's inside you. And no one can take that away. No one can take that away from you. Right, okay. There's something... It feels like a broken link, actually. A broken link. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't say that, actually. It's more like a bent link. Because... You can repair this, yeah, you can repair this. And I, and I think you'd like to repair this deep down. And someone else wants to repair this. This is a broken, or I should say, uh, a bent link uh, between you and uh, a love connection. Because my eye's just looking over to the centre of this, where the Nine of Wands is. And, you know, there's this big barrier in front of him. So there's a barrier between you and someone, a love connection. Yeah, definitely love here. And it can be repaired. I keep on having to say that for some reason. I feel as if I have to say, this can be repaired, this can be fixed. So, um, yeah, it can be repaired. And um, do you know what this looks like? It, it feels like there was a lot of talk around this connection, around you when you're with them. Um, yeah, I'm getting interference. Um, I'm actually getting, I'm actually getting this image in my mind of a couple standing there with kind of flocks of seagulls flying around them, making noises, bothering them. Um, and I know that sounds really strange, but, um, it's, it's like you were there as a couple standing there and you had all these birds yapping around you and flying around and talking to you and talking about you. I'm getting that too. Gossip. Um, giving you unwanted advice, trying to get in each other's ear like a little bird, all that kind of thing. And um, that was a big feature in this barrier, I think. I'm not saying other people are the cause of your problems. No, I'm not saying that. Because um, you had a few arguments, I'm seeing that. You had a few problems um, between you, of course. Uh, yeah, nasty words with the Ten of Swords here. But that wasn't helping. That interference, those problems, um, that was not helping. I think that might have been a big factor in you um, having this barrier between you. Because, um, yeah, lots of talking, lots of gossip, lots of people trying to interfere. Uh, I'm definitely getting family here, interfering family. I don't know whose family it is. Um, so, you know, if, if this is going to repair, if this is resonating with you, um, if you're going to repair this, if they're going to repair this, if you're both going to repair this, you're going to have to do this without these people around, all these outside influences. So you're going to have to let go of negativity. You're already doing that. I can see that here. Um, but they're going to have to do that themselves. Now, I think for them, it might actually be a little bit more difficult for them to do that because there's someone around them and uh, they're very, very stubborn, very, very, very stubborn. And it, it feels like they want to have some kind of influence over them. Um, and yeah, I keep on getting family. It doesn't have to be, but it feels like family. And so it's going to be hard for them to, to break away from that. It doesn't mean they have to um, distance themselves literally from someone or block them or keep away from them. It's not that. It's being away from the influence of that person. You know, you can be around someone all the time, but not be influenced by them. You can grey rock them. If you've got someone who um, comes and says, oh, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this, you can just say, okay, well, thanks for that information, and you just don't do anything. So you can have the person around you and not be influenced by them. So, um, But I think for them, it's going to be very hard uh, to break away from this person's influence. Um, but, you know, this can happen. I keep on getting this. This can be repaired. And, yeah, I, I think they want this to happen. You know, you've got the Two of Cups right here. And uh, you've got the Nine of Wands. Uh, you can see he's really struggling, but he's still coming forward. So I think they're going to struggle. They're going to struggle with this person who's around them, trying to influence them. But they are going to come forward anyway. 
um, so yeah, you, you're getting this. Okay, so you, you're getting this inner strength behind uh, inside you. It, it's growing and it's growing and it's growing. And I think you're feeling it already starting to grow. I think you feel a lot stronger than you used to. Um, and you know, I, I think as that grows inside you, you'll recognize a difference in the way other people treat you, actually. You know, I don't know if you've, if you've ever met someone who has that very strong uh, kind of power and they don't have to say anything, they don't have to do anything, but you're kind of very careful around them. You're very careful of how to, how you speak to them, how you address them, what you say. You're going to grow into that. that that's what I'm seeing now. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, and it's going to make a lot of, a big, big difference in a lot of things in your life going forward. And you've got a lot of things coming up for you as well. You know, you've got the, um, the, the six of wands there, victory. So you've got achievements there. And this is going to help you in that. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Okay. So I, so far I feel as if this is a little bit, um, confusing. I'm, I'm stumbling in my words. I don't know why that is. So hopefully that's made sense because sometimes I just talk and talk and talk and I look at what I'm doing. And then at the end, I think, Oh, did that make sense? <laughs> so hopefully it did. Um, okay. So the first card you've got for your presence, this, yeah, this seven of wands here. So yeah, here's this person. Uh, they were causing you all these problems. Uh, yeah, they're still there. They're still there. And, and I think they're going to try. They're going to keep trying for a while. They're going to keep trying to bother you, but you're not, you're not biting. You're, you're dealing with this in a totally different way now because you're so strong. And yeah, they're very confused. They're not, obviously they're not happy. They're not happy with what's happening, obviously. Um, okay, just something to watch out for with them. If you know who this is, uh, they might start asking other people to contact you. So watch out for, you know, messages, texts, things like that. You know, sometimes this can be about, because he's battling all these wands, but we can't see any of the people. So you might be getting, uh, you know, messages, uh, phone calls, uh, where you can't, you're not face to face, you know, things like that might come to you, uh, through this other person. So keep that strength, keep that strength up and keep on top of it. You're, you, you know, you're higher up than all that rubbish. You, you, you're up on your, you're up on this hill there, like this man, you know, you're above all that. Keep that strength up and keep above that. Keep above them. Um, yeah, there's lots of determination here. Lots of determination. There's determination in this one, in the seven of wands. And, you know, the nine of wands is all about determination. Uh, no matter what's happening, if you're tired, you just keep pushing forward. That's what I'm getting there. And, you know, you've got all these ones together, lots and lots of action. So something's happening. You're pushing something forward or you're trying to do that. And you've, you've got the victory card there as well, the six of wands. So you're going to have victory with this thing that you're pushing hard in, um, that you're working toward. Uh, yeah, very, very determined. Yeah, you're trying to make something work. This is what I'm getting. You're trying to make something work. Um, I think you might have tried to do this a few times, or you've, you might have tried to achieve this a few times, or do something. I, I'm seeing a few false starts with this, actually. Um, I don't think you had the right support around you last time you tried this. You know, I think you had people around you, but I don't think they fully understood what you were doing properly. They didn't really understand. Um, whatever this is you're doing, it's quite unique. And I don't think most people fully understand this. That, that's what I'm getting. They were well-meaning, well-meaning people, but um, they couldn't help you in the way you needed. Um, but now, yeah, you've got this powerful uh, spiritual energy um, inside you and it's growing and you're getting that power and that strength. And I'm not sure where you are with this because I'm getting that maybe you don't feel quite like that yet. I think you feel something, but you're not quite at its full, you know, you're not feeling it at its full extent yet. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so um, it, it's definitely there. It's definitely a hundred percent there. And, and so now, because you've always had this determination, that's what I'm seeing on, in all these cards here. So you've always had that determination. You've tried again, you've tried again, because I'm seeing these false starts. That does not mean failure. It means that you keep on trying again and again and again. So don't feel bad. Don't think, oh, I failed at this. I've done it again. I've tried it again. I've failed all these times. No, 
don't look at it like that. Say, I've tried all these times because I'm determined and I try lots of times and that's who I am. I keep going. Some people give up after one try. That's not me and it's not you. It's not you. So you've got that determination already. And now on top of that, you've got this extra power, that spiritual power that's inside you, working inside you. That's how you're going to manifest this. Um, okay. Right, this is what I'm getting. I don't know who this is for. <laughs> it's for someone. I'm getting expression. I'm getting uh, finding an audience, an audience for that expression. So uh, if that's you, uh, you've yeah, you've already been working on this. You've always already been working really hard on this. Very very determined. There's something that's coming up for you where uh, you'll be able to express whatever this is in front of people, in front of an audience. There's an audience for this thing you're doing and uh, they want this. They just don't know they want it yet. They haven't seen it yet, <laughs> but they're sitting there waiting. They're ready. The right people are there waiting to see this or hear this. Um, now, two things I've got here for someone. Um, okay, I don't know. This is probably going to sound really strange. I'm just going to say this. Uh, so I'm getting a, a tunnel. Uh, darkness. So you, it's, it's kind of like you're sitting in this tunnel, you've got this darkness, um, you just have your head down, working away, working on this, um, not showing off, not telling anyone what you're doing, just working away. And then suddenly you've got this light there. That's what I'm getting. There's an opportunity and that's this opportunity for this audience. And yeah, you can see that in the Six of Wands. He's got all these people around him looking at him. He's got this audience around him. Now, be prepared for this because you've got um, you, you've got to go outside of your comfort zone to be able to do this. You know, look at this man in the Nine of Wands. He, he's he's really scared. He's afraid. He doesn't know wh whether to come forward or not. He is anyway. He's coming forward anyway because he's very brave. This man's a soldier. So um, if you're working on something right now, keep going. When the time comes, when this opportunity comes, when the light comes into the tunnel, don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared to go outside your zone. You're going to have to do this to get to this audience, but they're waiting for you. I hope that makes sense to someone because it's, it's. I know it's specific, but it's for someone who needs to hear that. Right, so the last card you've got uh, for your presence, this Two of Cups. So yeah, this is this love connection, obviously. And yeah, you're going to connect again. You're going to connect with this person again. Now, I keep on getting this. They've, they've got this tie with someone or they've got this interfering, difficult, or, or I don't know if they're difficult, but they're, it's, it, there's someone around them influencing them. And it's going to be quite difficult for them uh, to pull away from that person. But they want to do this. They want to repair this. Yeah, keep on getting repair. Look at this caduceus uh, between these two cops. Um, you know, it can be a symbol of medicine, uh, making things better, repairing. So they want to repair this. They want to come close to you. They want to repair this. Again, they're going to have to let go of someone's influence over them. Not necessarily someone, but some kind of influence that's around them. And it's not going to be easy. I keep on seeing family. It doesn't have to be, but um, it, it, again, I keep on getting that around them. But whatever happens, um, however this happens, however long it takes, you're coming together. You are going to come together. Now, this feels really peaceful. There's no interference here when you do come together. So it looks like they're either going to lose that influence around them. You definitely have already. Uh, so it looks like they are. And yeah, you're going to grow together. You're going to grow together, join together. You're going to be strong together. And you couldn't do that before. You couldn't grow together before probably because you had all these people around you. But now by yourself, they're by themselves. You're going to be together alone. <laughs> And uh, that gives you that space. It gives you that freedom. Beautiful. This is, you know what this is? This is an opening up of two souls. Opening up of two souls. And you couldn't do that before you, because you had too many people around you. Um, and, you know, once you've opened up like that, and you start really properly growing together, 
uh, it's almost like you're going to be linked together and no one's going to be able to come between you ever again after you've been through that process. Now, it's a long process. Firstly, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work for them to do to actually come to you. And then when you're together, it's a long process again. You've got a lot of work to do together uh, to be able to build that strength up together. But uh, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And it looks beautiful. Beautiful. Your souls are already connected. Your souls are already connected. Um, but they're going to open up. They're going to open up to each other. It's absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Um, all right. So the first card you've got for your future is this uh, Six of Wands. Um, yeah, this is interesting, actually, because just looking at this and the Ten of Swords together, because, um, you know, the Six of Wands is above this horrible Ten of Swords. So you're, again, this is what this is showing you. You're above that dramatic person, that um, problem person, that drama person. You're above that. You're above that. You're on your high horse. Uh, this card's literally above uh, the Ten of Swords. Um, so it's above the backstabbing, the drama, the, the horrible talk. It's above that. Um, so just know that. Keep that strength up. Stay above that. Stay up on your high horse where you belong. Um, okay, so yeah. So with this love connection, I'm getting that here again. Um, yeah, you're going to come together. You're going to start to talk through things. Again, it's going to take time. So I'm seeing that everywhere. Now, it's not all going to be beautiful roses when you talk. It, it's not. Um, I'm not going to pretend it is. I'd like to pretend it is, but I'm not. I can't do that. Obviously, this is the Ten of Swords. So you've got a lot to talk through. And, uh, you know, you had a barrier between you for a reason. So you've got all that to talk to, uh, difficult things you're going to have to work through. Uh, again, I'm seeing these harsh words that you had between you. That's what swords can be. So you've got to get through that. You've got to talk through that. Um, but if you look at these cards closely, um, you know, this this ten of swords, there's all this heart right at the front. And then if you look behind that, there's water and it's still water. It's peaceful water. And, and obviously water is all about emotion. So behind that talk, you've got emotions. Behind all that, you've got emotion holding that up. And then past the emotion, um, there's a sunrise. So you're going to get past this because you've got emotion for each other, because you've got love for each other. And that's where you're going to have the sunrise, the new day, the new beginning. So again, you're going to repair this. You're going to get through this. And yeah, right under this, you've got this beautiful queen of cups, the queen of emotion. So your love is already really strong. Your souls are already connected. If this is you, if you know who this is, your souls are already connected. You know that. And I think you know that even more because you've got that very strong spiritual core now and it's getting stronger and stronger. And I think you're realising that, that this person always had this very spiritual connection with you. So that love, that emotion um, that's in this queen um, it, it's super strong. It's super strong. It feels like as you grow with them, it feels like as you grow with them and you get through all those problems and everything, it feels like it's going to grow into a more mature love. And, you know, before when you had families around you, it's very hard for you to, if that was you, it's very hard for anyone to mature um, when they're around their family all the time, telling them what to do. So if that if that's what was happening, um, and I was seeing it all over this, uh, you couldn't get to a mature level and now uh, you're going to be able to do that that's what that strength is so uh pisces i hope this made sense to someone absolutely beautiful connection you've got with someone so i hope that bit resonates with you um but it's a general reading um obviously it's not going to resonate with everyone uh thank you so much for watching